start a gradebook in Aries, log on to Aries Gradebook. Click on Add a Gradebook. From here, you can choose the whole entire year or by quarters. That's your choice. You want to associate your students and name your class. When that's finished, click Save. Next, you'll want to click on Options. You can read over these, but what is set for you already should be sufficient. You may want to change your assignments by date or number. And you will also want to make sure that you click on Rubric Grading Scale. Next, click Categories. You need to have at least one category. And you can call it whatever you'd like. And you can colorize if you want to. If you want to have more than one category, just click here to add a second category. Don't forget to click Save. Go all the way down to Final Marks. From here, you will need to adjust these to be your rubric score. Once you have those set, again, don't forget to save. And you can see that these are just rubric scores one through four. And you can make these a little different if you'd like. Once you have that set, now we'll go to manage students. We're going to click on add students. Click add all students. And click close. Now let's look at assignments. There's multiple ways to add assignments, but if you're on this screen, you can just click right here where it says add assignment. Your assignments will automatically be numbered, but you can change that if you'd like. You want to make sure you name your assignment. I also recommend adding a description. If you chose more than one category, make sure that you select the one that you want here. This will default to the day that you are inputting, but you can change that. And the due date, you can also change. Right now, this will be visible in the student portal and the parent portal. You can turn that off if you'd like until you're finished grading, but that's your choice. Don't forget to add a standard. Under Report Card Standards, this is basically like a category. So this uh, first example, I chose Math. So click that and then click OK. Everything set the way I want it. And if this is going to be just one assignment and I'm putting in more, Click Add and Save. Save and Add New. If this is going to be a reoccurring assignment, you can click this one. This would be good for something that's like participation, something that you'll do daily, like an SEL check-in, something like that. But if this is just the one assignment and you're finished, click Save and Close. Now we have our assignment set up and we're ready to put in our scores. Now you can manually input scores. So to do that, if we click on enter marks, you can just put in your scores. If a student was absent, you can leave it blank. 
the student was absent and you're not going to have them make it up, you put in in A. If a student did not do their work, you can leave it blank and you can come back later if they complete the assignment. Once grading is complete, you can go ahead and click on grading is complete. If you're not sure and you want to wait until to see if these students do this, you don't have to click this right now. But if this grading is complete, go ahead and click on it and you can see for the student that was absent and is not going to be making up this assignment, NA will not count against them. But for the student that did not turn in their assignment, this will be an orange colored box and that will tell you as well as the student that this is a missing assignment. If we go back to our dashboard, we can also see another way of adding assignments and we can manage our gradebook if we wanted to edit something. We can print reports from here. We can look at our standards for this particular, for a particular assignment. We can add an assignment from here as well and see our scores. So just do a little exploring and you'll see that you're able to work in Aries Gradebook.